these are all celebrities who have been called out, criticized, and mm -hmm. condemned mm -hmm. for cultural appropriation. Has anyone here ever called someone out for cultural appropriation? You too? You have? You have? Yep. Has anybody here ever thought twice about wearing something or doing something, even cooking something, out of fear of being accused of appropriation? You have? Yes. Yeah, what was it? Um, my daughter had braids and she wanted me to get braids that were just like hers. Why her but not you? She's um, half black and half white. Okay. And so I just think that some things should stick with those cultures. Well, no matter whether you believe it's harmful or you think people should just be allowed to do what they want, there is no doubt this is a hot button topic that people are passionate about. Dr. Neil Lester, a professor of English at Arizona State University, I right? Am. Yes. And you've published, lectured, and taught extensively the area of African American studies. What do you think about appropriation? Do you think this is a real thing, something that people need to be cognizant of? And if so, why? Absolutely, absolutely. Um, well, because if, if we, in fact, are trying to look at the humanity of other people and we are trying to live in a place where we are trying to be respectful and mindful of folks, then we need to be aware of things that are important to other cultures that don't necessarily look like us or share the same values. So it is a thing, and people need to be aware of can anybody appropriate? Uh, anybody can appropriate, yes. Not just white people? Uh, absolutely. A yeah. Appropriation is intersectional. So old people can appropriate youth culture. Youth culture can appropriate old folks. Uh, people who are not incarcerated can impersonate uh, you know, prisoners or those who are incarcerated. Uh, men appropriate women's attire for the sake of funny. Uh, and mocking, so absolutely anybody can do it and everybody on some level may have flirted with it. Okay, but a lot of the time that people that I've seen are called out for this, it's not that they were making fun or mocking in some way, it was just that they had adopted a, a fashion or a style or whatever. I would say that's a performance. So if somebody's culture and somebody's identity becomes a performance, then it's reductive. So if you're reducing, for example, say the civil rights movement to an Afro and you wear that, or you wear dreadlock wigs, you know, that uh, Rastafarians may wear, you do that because it's edgy, because it's cool, but ultimately because it's not you. And you're getting some kind of cultural capital from that by doing it. And, and who's hurt by that? Well, it's not a matter of who's hurt by it, it's who's being disrespected by it. Well, who's being disrespected by it? A whole yeah. culture of people whose identities are wrapped in whatever you're dressing into and can then take off. Amal, you don't agree? I don't, no. You think worrying about appropriation is a waste of time? I, I think not only is it somewhat a waste of time, but it's nearly impossible. You just mentioned there are nearly hundreds of ways that one could appropriate somebody else's culture or their, their livelihood. And to expect any one human being to keep on top of that throughout their entire life, I think, is an unrealistic ask. And I think imitation is a form of flattery. I appreciate my food by eating it. I appreciate the hair that I wear by wearing it, by putting on the clothes that I, that I wear. And every single item around us in this room could probably be attributed to a certain culture. Do we have to constantly worry about what culture we, we gain things from? Does intention have anything to do with well, it? Well, I guess I didn't hear anything about anybody worrying about it. What I, heard, what, I, what I hear about when I think about and talk about cultural appropriation is people becoming more aware of it. We could say the same thing about racism, sexism, homophobia. Just because you can't solve it and don't see it at every corner doesn't mean we shouldn't be aware of it and trying to address wow, it. Oh, do you so really in, put those on the same level? I absolutely Racism do. and sexism, absolutely. you put it on the same level as, as cultural appropriation. That's exactly So if somebody wears their hair like you're wearing it, you put that on the same level as, as racism. Absolutely. I put that on the same wow. level as white supremacy because white supremacy is intersectional. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.